Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. Today we're going to be looking at a project that's all about saving the last Coke nails worth of Chobani yogurt from your Chobani yogurt cup. We're talking about Spoonani. How many times are we going to hear the same song for another bullshit Kickstarter project? How, how many fucking times? Okay, because I've been hearing this same tune since Helixia. Okay, I don't think Helixia used that. But you, you get the point. It's a ukulele mixed with some other whimsy, tingy sounds, and it just, it just, it just tears at my heartstrings. You could really, you could sell ice to an Eskimo so long as you have this music playing in the background. What is this? Is it a fucking art project? What are you doing? Spoonani, eat up that cup! Spoonani, eat up that cup! Great Amicia, what can I do for ya? A spoon specifically designed to maximize your Chobani yogurt eating experience. So, of course, Chobani has a unique cup. It is, it is almost as if it's an inverted pyramid, and you need, you need all sorts of... You need a multi-tool to be able to get all the yogurt out of your fucking Chobani yogurt cup because it's, it's just a wee... It's a labyrinth of yogurt in there, and, and heavens to Betsy, I have no idea how people sleep at night when they're not able to get every last ounce of yogurt out of their yogurt cup. How do they do it? It would rack my brain. I wouldn't be able to fall asleep at night because I would be thinking about how so much of that yogurt was wasted because I couldn't get it all out of the cup. I mean, surely there are some people out there who use the dog as an in-between, but those calories are going to the fucking dog. They're not going to you. An answer to a problem that you never knew existed. Well, I would say I never knew it existed because I, I never saw it as a problem. You see, if I lose a cubic centimeter of yogurt to the trash can, I will be able to sleep pretty well at night. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna rack my brain about the fucking tiny bit of yogurt that I left behind. We're not gonna write a, a, a novel left behind for the Chobani yogurt that remains in your empty yogurt cup. Because, as far as I'm concerned, it's fucking empty, okay? It's the same thing with, with a big ketchup bottle. You're not gonna get every last drop of ketchup out of there, are ya? Nor are you gonna get out of the peanut butter jar, okay? You know, you can be a heathen, and you could pour water into the into the ketchup bottle and shake it up if you want to be a true animal, but I think for the vast majority of people, they have no problem just throwing the ketchup bottle away knowing, well, it's all said and done. By this point, you guys know that I'm not a wasteful person. I, I will blow my nose into my dirty boxers as to not waste tissue paper. I will, I will jizz into those snot rag boxers to not waste tissue paper. And, uh, and then I will wash them and uh, not use any uh, laundry detergent. I will use crystal balls instead as to be very sustainable. But I think what people got to realize is that we are not living in post-apocalyptic times. You don't need to scrape every last caloric ounce out of your Chobani yogurt cup uh, to make sure that you live another day, okay? The, those calories will not be missed. You are fine. In fact, I would venture to guess you are overweight. So, uh, missing, missing those, those last tiny scrapings of, of Chobani yogurt, you know what? I think it's better in a landfill, to be quite honest. I, I, I truly believe that from the bottom of my deep, dark soul. The Spoonani is priced pretty appropriately at $4. Uh, they have increasing tiers that, uh, that unlock all sorts of Spoonani potential. Uh, and it goes all the way up to the $100 tier where you get one 18 karat gold plated Spoonani. And, uh, and it says here that this will be the soundest financial decision made in your life. Um, now it's funny that they would, they would put that because uh, three people have fucking backed that tier to get a gold-plated Spoonani spoon. Uh, I say it's funny because I'm 100% certain they're saying that sarcastically, as in it is the exact opposite of a sound financial decision. So you have to wonder what kind of fucking retards would pledge 
for a gold-plated Spoonani spoon. I've been getting really frustrated lately with all these D-plus ideas. The ideas like the Spoonani where they serve one very specific use case like eating fucking Chobani yogurt and nothing else. Uh, and I've, I've taken it upon myself to create my own very shitty D-plus idea that any of you are welcome to take and make a Kickstarter project out of. It is called the, the Long Spoon. It's a long spoon with a handle. And uh, what, 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 what this is for is for uh, when you need to get to the bottom of the, of the peanut butter jar. The, yeah, this, is, this is Skippy. They're sponsoring the show. Um, when you need to get to the bottom of the peanut butter jar, and, uh, and the, knife, it does, the knife doesn't have enough purchase to get to the bottom, right? And, and you don't have much of a handle at that point. You might get some on your hands. Uh, same thing with a spoon. In many cases, the spoon's shorter than the knife. So, you know, it's, it's getting on your hands. It's a big mess. Oh, what a fucking pain in the ass that is. But now, with the long spoon, your worries are whisked away. It also functions as a whisk. It's if you fucking swing it fast enough or something. God fucking damn it. Okay, guys, I came up with a better name than Long Spoon. I, I've decided to use the naming scheme that Spoonani uses, and I've decided to call it the Penis Spoon. Uh, penis Spoon is, is, of course, a, uh, a portmanteau of, of peanut butter and spoon. Penis Spoon, I think that works. Um, you know, I could even come up with a jingle for it. Uh, when, when you're walking through the woods and you see a goon, Bring out your penis spoon, wave it around in the air, and get some... When you're walking through the woods and you meet a coon, bring out your penis spoon, wave it around in the air. Penis spoon. Hmm. Nothing better than a penis spoon. So far, I've been going along with the premise that the Spoonani spoon is superior in, in retrieving as much Chobani yogurt as possible than a standard spoon, but I don't believe that this is the truth. I think a standard spoon is going to be as good, if not better, than a uh, Chobani spoon, or a Spoon Nanny, as uh, they have so aptly called it. And I will give you guys a demonstration right now. Okay, now I'm going to dig in this uh, Chobani yogurt here. Pretty pretty standard Chobani cup. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary about it. It's a little bit warm. All right, we're going to we're going to stir up uh, the Chobani right quick. It might not look all that appetizing, but trust me, it's very good. It's very delicious. The only reason it might not be looking as delicious as humanly possible is because it's been sitting out, okay? Mm. Mm. You see what's going on here? That's called uh, using a spoon. I'm going to do a little spoon trick here. Ooh. Mm. Where'd that yogurt come from? Ooh, what do you know? I'm going along the seam and I'm getting I'm getting yogurt out of it. Hmm. Let's go along this seam. Oh yeah, I got some Chobani yogurt skin there. Slow down, pal. You might actually uh you might actually make that Spoonani look like a piece of shit. Wow. No, it's still getting oh. Still getting every last ounce of of yogurt because uh, I'm not autistic. Imagine that. So, I mean, I think that's pretty substantial. I mean, is there a problem with that amount of yogurt left behind? I don't think... I really don't think anyone's going to miss that shit. Another thing to consider is the fact that Chobani may change their cup shape. You know, they've done it multiple times before. I know I've at least seen two or three iterations of a Chobani yogurt cup, so it's not going to stay like this. It's just not going to. They're going to constantly improve it, so maybe your 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 Spoonani has a shelf life of a year, maybe two years, but eventually Chobani is going to change their cup shape, and when they do, I don't, I don't know if that spoon is going to work as effectively as you might want it to. Apparently, this question was already posed to them in the FAQ down at the bottom. It says, what if Chobani changes the cup shape? Good question. While I do not see them rushing to change their profile shape because of one single spoon, it could happen. Well, let's be clear. They're not going to change, they're not going to spend thousands of dollars to change the shape of their cup because of your spoon. You know, they, they don't see that as, as a threat or whatever. Like, they might say, oh, maybe we should make it a standard cylindrical shape so that it's just fucking easier to get the shit out of it. Uh, and let's not have, a, you know, weird, like, tears going all the way up it so you're eating out of a fucking waffle cone. No one wants to eat their, their, you know, 
yogurt out of a waffle cone. So if they change it, it's because they know that it, it's a problem, not because of your spoon. But if Chobani gets jealous and decides to disrupt production of millions of cups, I promise to do Spoonani 2.0. Yeah, I think I think jealousy is going to be the prime contributing factor to them to them changing the shape of their yogurt cup is because they're jealous of you, the wonderful wonderful godsend, the guy who created the spunani. Yeah, they're jealous of the guy who raised uh, what is it, twelve hundred dollars? Yeah, they're they're jealous of you know a company worth millions of dollars, jealous of 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 course the uh, the twelve hundred dollar Kickstarter project. Yeah, jealousy. Mm-hmm. It's all about jealousy. If you guys were following me on Twitter back in 2012 and 2013, you'd know that I have a rich history with the company Chobani, and I will read some tweets from, uh, from back in those days. At Chobani, a relative of mine plans on returning a Chobani with a broken seal to the store. It's been two weeks, still in fridge. What should I do? Chobani then replies to me, Oh no! Tell them to shoot an email at careatchobani.com and we'll see what we can do. I reply, T.Y. Just moments after I had this interaction with Chobani's Twitter account, I emailed Chobani detailing my Chobani-related issue, and they promptly emailed me back and told me that they would be more than happy to send me a food voucher or a coupon so that they may fix this problem on the behalf of them or even the uh, the food store that sold me the Chobani yogurt. Now, because I live in California, they were unable, because of California litigation, able to send me a food voucher. It is against some sort of uh, asinine uh, California law, and uh, they instead sent me a check for one dollar and thirty nine cents, approximately the price of a Chobani yogurt cup, and that is why. Chobani will have my business until I die. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this episode of Kickstarter Crap. I hope you enjoyed watching. Remember to hit that like button, remember to hit that subscribe button, remember to share with a friend, remember to do next time when I cut off your cho chodes. When I cut off your chodes, ch chody acts. Doesn't not want your business because you have stretch marks, acne, and cellulite, okay? They want your fucking shit. The reason they advertise their shit on hot, gorgeous supermodels is because they're hot, gorgeous supermodels. And they look good in lingerie. They're objectively the best of the best looking in lingerie. Why would you want to have a more standard, normal looking person advertising your lingerie? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I could, I could sell you a product right now and you'd buy it as so long as this music was playing in the background.